Hi, I'm Tammy Beilstein. Welcome to Murphy's, California, one of the most beautiful towns in Calaveras County. We are here today to celebrate Day of the Dead. This is a Mexican holiday. It is a day when the Mexican tradition, when they believe that the veil between the living and the dead is especially thin and that the dead come back to visit their loved ones. Um, I think it's really awesome. I love the whole idea of this. The people here come from all over. You'll notice that today as we talk with some people, they come from all over the, the, the community, all over the, uh, the state. And they dress in beautiful outfits. Most of them are handmade. Their makeup is incredible. It's just awesome. I'm going to introduce you to some interesting people. You're going to see some interesting sights and hear some lovely music. And we saw some dog walking around with something in his mouth. I got to find that dog for you. We'll see you in a bit. So look who I found here. These people look gorgeous. You look beautiful. Tell me your names. Laura. Frank D'Souza. And tell me about your outfits here. You guys are especially dressed up. And I like the bling. You both have the bling going on. Tell me about this. Well, just to match. He's my husband. I would like to look close. I don't know. Just look good. Yeah, you do look good. Thank how you. Go? And how do you feel about your outfit? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um, we, this is the fourth time they were in here for this uh, event. Yeah. And uh, first time I didn't dress up, second time a little bit more. And now this time she went all the way out. <laughs> she did all, oh, all everything. She did everything. You made both of, them, yeah. you made both of these outfits yourself? Well, no, yeah. this one's I bought, but this one I did. I made. Yeah. Whoa. Plus his makeup and my makeup. Yes. What a talent. So where are you two from? From Tracy. We live in Tracy, but we're okay. original from Mexico okay. City. You are. Mm -hmm. And did you participate in events like this in Mexico? Uh, it, they were like processions, but mm -hmm. not like an actual event like like it's today. Today they actually have more events like this, and processions, and parades, and okay. and I don't know everything. Yeah. All the way, it's beautiful in Mexico City oh. and everywhere in Mexico. Oh, you know, it's it's funny when you're out there, you don't really appreciate it that much when you move away and you miss your your roots oh. is when you appreciate this kind of stuff even more sure. and yeah. it's, it's lovely to see all of these people if you look around there's people from all kinds of backgrounds yeah. getting together celebrating this this is really cool oh. is there someone special that you have in mind as you celebrate a day like this oh well, we have family of course our parents uh, grandparents and mm -hmm. sister brother, for me sister. brother and uh, friends uh, we we actually have our friend back at home, so yeah. we make it over there and we celebrate. Uh, you, make, you put the pictures, you put water and the kind of food that they usually like, because okay. they come and visit um, every yes. year. And uh, sometimes you'll find something, they moved a little bit, you know, I know they, I know they actually come and see. Yeah, yeah. So you, you put the food that they like, the drinks that they like, coffee and right. some tequila and all that. But, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I love that. I love this tradition. I think it's beautiful. And you guys look fantastic. Is this much. banner here, does this mean that you won something or did I you? I won last year. You won last yes, year. Yes, I won Katrina uh, 2016 and uh -huh. I'm going to be a judge this year. So. Okay. <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank, Thank you guys you. for being here, for talking with us. Thank you. Have fun. Have fun. Thank you. So I'm here now with some women from Children of Mexico International. Can you tell me your names, please? I'm Prudence Ashley. Margarita Fajardo. And tell me a little bit about your organization. Um, we take, we are a nonprofit, and we take speech therapists and teachers, um, nurses, and psychologists to Mexico to work with special needs children. We go to um, Michoacan to smaller towns and rural areas, and then we also work in Guadalajara at orphanages and also at a hippotherapy center. Oh my goodness! How long have you been doing this? For. We've been taking teams of professionals since 2007. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. And to raise money for your organization, you come to events like this and you sell, um, uh, are these handmade from items? Mexico. Oh, from Mexico. Many of the items are handmade by one of our board members and other items we uh, brought from Mexico. That is, that is awesome. And you two are from Murphy's, or do you come from out of the area? No, we're from the Bay Area. So I'm from Piedmont, which is in the Oakland area. and you're I'm from South San Francisco. Oh, 
and you travel here to Murphy's just for this event. Yes. Isn't Murphy's the most darling town ever? I love it. I love it, and actually, it brings back memories because every time my parents would visit me in the Bay Area, they came over to Murphy's. Oh. They loved staying at the Murphy's Hotel and coming to this right. town. Right. Uh -huh. That place Cute. is the best. And the guys who own it are so fun. Do you know them? No. No, oh I don't God. know them. You need to go over there, ask to meet the boys, Brian, Kevin, and Joel. Awesome. <laughs> They're the best. Thank you guys for being here, for talking with oh, me. And what a neat you. thing that you're doing. I think that's lovely. I love it. Thank, thank you. you. So, oh, this, this outfit here is so gorgeous. I had to stop this woman and ask her about it. She can't talk much because of the jewels around her mouth. So um, we have an interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your names, please. Uh, my name's Nick, and this is my oh, wife, Gloria. Sorry, I almost have it. <laughs> Gloria? Yeah, Gloria. Oh. So tell me about Gloria's outfit here. You um, were saying that she made this herself, correct? Yeah, the dress took about two months with the accessories and everything. Uh, we kept tacking on just a little bit of extra pieces. We added, of course, the jumping frog from Angel's Camp. Oh, perfect. And uh, her three friends. Um, we painted them ourselves, and um, and then her makeup took about three and a half hours this morning. Wow. Did you help her with her makeup, or did you guys absolutely. hire someone? No, absolutely not. She, That's all her. You did that yourself? Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you professional doing that? Oh, my gosh. No, this, that is incredible. She does it for the love. <laughs> where do you find the things to put in this outfit? I wouldn't even know where to start looking. She looks everywhere, to uh, to the chain stores, all the way to the mom and pop stores, to Goodwill. Uh, a lot of it just comes together in little pieces, and she figures out a way to incorporate it. So who is this woman at the bottom here, this photo that you have at the bottom of the dress? This is her mother, Gloria, who passed away about three years ago now. And uh, it's been really hard for her, and she wanted to pay tribute. Uh, her mother was also crafty and used to sew and knit and make all kinds of things. So this is a tribute to her. That's awesome. She is beautiful. She's beautiful. Just doing things like this, um, something where you can memorialize her and honor her, does that help you with your grief? Yeah. Do you find that it helps? I, I think also? it's helped a great deal. Um, ever since she kind of dove into her creativity, yeah. it's helped a lot yeah. uh, with with being closer to her mom, right. but also dealing with that loss. Yeah. Are you guys from Murphy's or from Calaveras? No, we're actually, uh, well, we have a place in Dorrington, but we actually live in Turlock and okay. Stanislaus County. So. Oh, so you make a special event out of coming here for this today, right? Yeah, we've traveled everywhere. We were in San Juan Batista last weekend, and before that we were in Modesto, and uh, this is, I think, her fourth uh, time coming dressed out. So. That's awesome. So, so these Day of the Dead events happen in more places than I realize. I mean, uh, I, I knew about Murphy's, but I thought that was... It is extra special, but but it does happen in other places. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. Um, there's, of course, some larger ones. San Jose has a very large one as well. We haven't ventured over to there yet because we're just trying to stay close to home. Okay. So. Well, you look fantastic. Can you, would you mind turning around? On the back of your dress, I saw you had some other really neat detail here. Look at these, the little skulls on the jars. So cool, so cool. Oh, my Lord. I'm in love with that dress. You look gorgeous. Oh, I know your mom is happy. Thank you for being here and thank you for talking with us and explaining all of this. It's just beautiful. No problem. If I don't talk, I'm going to have to retouch your face. So. <laughs> oh gosh, my husband's here. He's probably wishing that I could get some of those jewels from my own self. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> Look at this dog right here. Is that a real bone in his mouth or what? It has a rat in its mouth. It just saw, saw a cup on the ground and its owner said, um, pick it up. It was garbage. And it picked it up and it put okay. it in the recycling bin. No worries. Back. Yeah. Back. Wait and stand. Check it. Upset. Bear. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
All of the things here we've all collaborated and gathered. Um, as you could tell, some of the pictures are of dad with his grandchildren. And then a lot of the things he collected that were from his desk at work or things that he loved. Um, I think we have quite a few things there. He loved North Dakota. That was where he's from, and he eventually wanted to retire, too. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of his friends. He loved the 49ers. He loved Ford, Starbucks. Um, just a little bit of everything. His hole-in-one, he hit a hole-in-one. Um, <laughs> right before he died, passed, he hit oh, one on Lock and 10 on hole 13. Um, so it was a big part of his life. There's a little bit of something from everything. Yeah. And so it's been kind of amazing. And Kathy, the, um, one of the owners of Black Sheep, asked if she could do an altar for Dad. And Sherry kind of coordinated, and we all kind of gathered things. So, yeah. How did it make you feel as you were finding the things to put together for this altar? Was it difficult, or did it make you feel good? How would you feel? It makes me feel good because um, honoring Dad is kind of a way we can carry on his name for all he gave back to this community. Yeah. So it's nice to honor him. Um, and it makes us all emotional remembering him and missing him but at the same time it makes us feel good that we could do this and you know honor him and the th what what he was not just the sheriff but he was a person too and a friend and a right dad and grandpa so it was nice yeah you're so right so many of us know him just as the sheriff and we kind of imagine him working 24 7 365 and he had a life outside of that sheriff's department. He had friends like like um, Sherry and your husband, the, the handsome Trey. Is that <laughs> yes? And Sherry is so involved in putting together golf tournaments and things like that, fundraisers in Gary's memory, which I think are incredible. Yeah. So since we have a second, is there anything coming up that you want to tell us about? Or um, I have an annual uh, golf tournament every year, and the uh, money goes towards uh, scholarships for Bret Hart and Calaveras High School. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So you must you do that in the springtime? Springtime, usually Last April. Sunday of April, April, first Sunday of May. However, it kind of falls. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look for those things um, so you can you can help contribute to with that fundraiser yeah, and those it's scholarships. Fun. It's always yeah. sold out, and I think we raised. 10000 last year between ours and um, the Sewell wow. family. We do it together. Oh, that's so oh, we yeah, gave out. Erica. Yeah, we gave awesome. out ten, almost $10,000 mm -hmm. in scholarships last year. That's beautiful. Well, I know your dad is so proud of you. Thanks. And I'm so happy to have you and your husband as, as friends. You guys are best friends with them. Thank you. Thank oh, you very such an much. honor. And thank you guys for doing this and for and the Black Sheep Pine for putting this together, yeah, this, this awesome altar. Are you going to be here next year? Uh, I don't know. It's a a Kathy. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> she wants us back. They rotate people. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for a memorial. But we'll just come hang out with Kathy. Uh -huh. She's awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much for talking with me. Thank, thank you, thank Tammy. Thank you so much. All right. Si quieres, seré tu penumbra, pero tú no sé.
impresionante aurora que ilumina cada instante, cada instante de mi ser.